Hi, I'm Alexiana, welcome. Um, so, you're stuck on ideas for stories, I assume, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Well, stories are my speciality, I'm a writer myself, and, well, if you're anything like me, you love it, you can't get enough of writing, it's a passion, you think about it, like, all the time. Um, so, I'm here to help you with ideas. Um, how do you get ideas? It depends what kind of writing you want to do, really. I I do mainly crime fiction. Um, and ideas, well, you can, you can get inspiration from absolutely anywhere for any kind of story. You know, the old classics, who, how, what, where, when, I'm sure there's more, but I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. Ideas, again, anything. Could You could um, just look around your room and pick any inanimate object. Um, say, it's cuddly dog. Okay. What could what story could you create from this? Well, you could do you could do sci-fi. You could say, "What if this dog came to life?" Um, you know that that could um, you could start off the story from that. What if this dog came to life, and and then what would it what would it do? You could. Take it down into the real fine details, like how would the dog get down off the bed onto the floor, which is a great height for you know such a small thing. And then where would it go? Would it look for food? Would it look to you know explore its territory? Or you could say, what if it came to life and it was transported into some magic fantasy land and absolutely anything? Literally, the world is your oyster. Um, another way to come up with ideas is. <laughs> I don't know, the world around you, everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything and anything. Um, uh, fantasy. Again, once upon a time, there was a young woman walking in the forest. It was a beautiful day. And, and then she came to a clearing. And... You can make it fantasy or reality based, you know, and she came and in the clearing there was like this huge magical castle like um like something from Disneyland and she was just in awe at the beauty of it and there was nobody else around and so she went inside and it was like um like a like a ghost village. There was nobody inside the castle, no sign of anybody else and you know, you can just take it from there. I, I hope you've got some ideas just from what I've been saying already. As you can see, I have the wildest imagination. And I like to think I can make a story about from absolutely anything. Um, I mean, I could make a story from, from this right now. Um, like, one day there was somebody making recording a YouTube video. And when they were done, they stopped and they watched it back. But it wasn't the same video as the one they had just recorded. And while they were watching it, they somehow got sucked into the camera and they found themselves, you know, you, you could take, make a story from that. You could say they found themselves absolutely the only way that you want to. In outer space, in, like, um, like Alice down the rabbit hole, they, they could be in the, in the Minecraft world, you know, you could, if you know anything about Minecraft, if you, even if you don't, just a quick Google search, you know, you'll find out whatever you want to know. You could say that somebody was somehow sucked into the Minecraft world, a real human person, and then the story would be their adventures in Minecraft or, you know, their their fight, their struggle to get out and get back into the real world that they came from. Or even the other way around. You could do a story about um, the character from Minecraft. It's a guy called Steve, isn't he? You could do a story the opposite. Somehow he gets sucked out into the real world, but he's still in his... Um, you know, in his cuboid square blocky form and what does he make of the real world, you know? 
does he how does he get back into minecraft does he want to maybe after spending some time in the real world he would realize that it's either a lot safer than the minecraft world or a lot more dangerous depending on what you think his point of view about that would be and maybe he would want to stay maybe he wouldn't you know you could do any number of stories about that so i'm not sure if this is so much a list of different ways you can get ideas but i hope i have at least provided you with some inspiration to um kick start you know yourself wherever point you are at with your writer's book so i'll i'll end it there so thank you for watching and um let me know anything you have to say about anything i've said in the comments question i'd love to hear your opinions and your your problems if i haven't helped at all then i'm terribly sorry um please write in the comments section i'd love to hear about what your problems are and i'd love to help you with that so thanks for watching i'll see you later